Welcome all, welcome to the Museum of Modern Influencers. In this museum we house some of the finest pieces available. Behold this one, it's called a severe lack in my judgement. And I don't expect to be forgiven. We are also pleased to display Curing Blindness, a very controversial piece indeed. And let's not forget Green Man Dancing, it's truly a classic. This is some of the finest work ever produced by any public figure. Ah yes, Influencer, a respectable career choice right up there with Telesalesman and Arms Dealer. However, to truly be successful as an influencer, you need to stand out above all the rest. Not only in your work, but also in your actions. Keeping yourself relevant is as important, if not more important, than making quality content. It almost seems like saying and doing ridiculous things brings more eyes on your content. You could be known as the guy that gives away millions and cures blindness, or the guy that steals money from his fans with an NFT scam. In the end, it doesn't matter, as long as people talk about you and know who you are. This might all seem like a new thing, something that wasn't around before the internet, but I would argue that there was one man that perfected the art of being an influencer far before the internet was even a thing. Someone who truly was a master of self-promotion, using his distinctive personality and unique behavior to capture the attention of the public and in the process promoted his art. That man was Salvador Dali. If you don't know who Salvador Dali was, he was a Spanish surrealist artist born on May 11th, 1904 in Figueres, Spain. He was one of the most famous and influential artists of the 20th century, known for his surrealist work that often portrayed dreamlike or irrational scenes. And I could continue on talking about this art, but I already see you clicking off the video, so I'll just talk about the more interesting things about this guy. D don't click off! Don't click off! I promise it's gonna be interesting. Now like I said before, Dali was a master of self-promotion. His outrageous behavior and his eccentric personality made him a public figure. Take for example the first time that Dali went to the United States. He made his first trip to the United States in 1934, and as soon as he stepped off the boat, he was greeted by a publisher, who had some words of wisdom for him. Listen, the publisher said, the media here can make you or break you, so better be on your best behavior. Dali, never want to shy away from the spotlight, took this advice and ran with it. When he was interviewed by the media, the first thing that he wanted to talk about was the portrait he made of his wife. But this wasn't a normal portrait, oh no. Dali painted his wife with pork chops for arms. And when the media asked him for this very unusual choice, his response was, well, you see, I love my wife very much, and I love meat very much. So I decided to combine the two. The press went absolutely nuts over Dali's response. And they couldn't resist writing whole articles about the crazy man who painted his wife with pork chops for arms, making him a celebrity almost overnight in the United States. And he got this kind of media attention everywhere he went. For example, in 1968, Salvador Dali ordered a 12 meter long loaf of bread in Paris. Now this was supposed to symbolize waste, extravagance and absurdity and it was meant to change people's perspective of the world around them. But that's not what the media focused on. The media was focused on a crazy man walking around Paris with a 12 meter long bread. So the 12 meter long bread, it was front page news. But let's face it, just look at this picture. This could be a thumbnail on YouTube today. It is just so eye catching. And talking about eye catching images, we have to talk about this image. This is probably one of the more memorable and strange images of Salvador Dali. It's when he was walking with his pet and eater in the streets of Paris. In 1969, Dali was living in Paris and he was often seen walking with his pet and either on a leash, just strolling around the city, acting like it was the most normal thing in the world to just walk around with one of these animals, like, yeah, you're walking your dog, why couldn't I walk my ant eater? And of course, this turned a few heads, and people started to talk about him. And there were a lot of people that didn't heard of Dali before, but after they saw him walking around with his unusual pet, they sure as hell knew his name. But this was not the only time that Dali used an anteater to gain notoriety. In 1971, he went on the Dick Cavett show, and Dali took another anteater with him, which he borrowed from the Brooklyn Zoo. And well, let's just see what he did with the animal. 
Well, I think you've caught something. I can't help noticing that you have an anteater with you, Mr. Da. Oh, oh, please. Yeah, uh, she doesn't really look pleased with that. And yeah, you guessed it. This weird action again got him headlines. He also once drove from Spain to Paris with a car filled with cauliflowers. Now, we are lucky because there's an interview talking about this incident. So Dali himself can tell us what's the deal with these cauliflowers. There was an incident once where you appeared for a lecture in Paris uh, at the Sorbonne and you arrived in a Rolls Royce filled with cauliflowers. Yes, because, cauliflower, uh, I believe. Uh, you know, uh. and the cauliflower represents exactly the same morphological problem of one arm of rhinoceros. And you look careful on cauliflower, there's plenty of the, the same pattern of sunflower. And you know Leonardo da Vinci? The cauliflower the, is the same pattern the, the as the same, sunflower. The, exactly, the same pattern is uh, crossing logarithmic aspirals. Okay. So, you see, this man had a remarkable ability to capture the attention and the confusion of the public and the media. And this is not the only way in which he resembles a modern influencer. If Salvador Dali was alive today, he would likely not have any problems with shilling products like Reed Shadow Legends or NordVPN, because this guy loved money. We can see him here in the commercial for chocolate, not that bad, not that weird. However, I would have never expected to see Dali in a commercial for a painkiller. But yeah, here we are. Devoted bubbles. Then the Alka Seltzer shoots into the stomach. What about leveraging your fame to not pay at restaurants? He also did that, but not by showing the number of followers on Instagram. He had a much smarter way to not pay for any of his dinners. He and his friends would dine at the most expensive restaurants in Barcelona, and when it was time to pay, he would simply write a check. Now, before he gave that check, he would make a quick doodle, a little sketch on the back and sign it with his name. Many restaurants would view his art as so valuable that they would never cash the check. And if the check was never cashed, well, then you don't pay for the meal. His influence is still felt till this day, not only in the world of art, but also in pop culture. If you've seen a Netflix show like Asa de Papel or Money Heist, you've seen Dali's face. His mustache was just so iconic, and probably the second most famous mustache on an artist. Oh, and uh, talking about Hitler, Dali painted him masturbating. The painting is called Hitler Masturbating. I don't know why, but this just makes me laugh. The idea that there is a painting hanging somewhere in a museum called Hitler Masturbating, it, it just makes me happy. Now, I can keep talking about this guy because there's so many more interesting things that he did and so many more weird things that he did. But I think this is enough for today. And I'm just gonna leave you with this short video that perfectly encapsulates Salvador Dali for me. Also, good money is not on the first time Dali born with any kind of traumatism. Little. Blood, symbolic blood. And milk, again, milk, but with food and flour, and some symbolic fish of Mediterranean people. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you did like this kind of content, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like or a comment. It really helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, then please hit the subscribe button. 